Bonjour, ladies and gents. As they say in Wales, welcome to my kitchen. I hope you are well. Last week I did a recipe on the Bake Off, like rainbow bagels. I caught yeah. five minutes of the actual Bake Off. I very, very rarely do, and I never watch programs back. I'm old school like that. If I missed it, you, you learn. <laughs> <laughs> but you can watch it back. No. This week, their technical challenge was babka. This is the great babka. Barry Bake Off. This is when I'm starting to do Bake Off recipes. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do. That's how you pronounce it, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, it's like a loaf, a, um, a loaf of bread with chocolate running through it, and it's like a traditional Jewish yeah. recipe, Yeah, babka think. is that right? Yeah, babka is a sweet braided bread or cake which originated in the Jewish communities of Poland and Ukraine. It's popular in Israel and elsewhere in the Jewish diaspora? Diaspora. Diaspora. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, anyway. you are leaving me to try and do this thing. Yeah. So, is that way we even pronounce it right? Because this is half the thing. Babka, it can't be pronounced any other way. But sometimes it gets you, it's like, no, the B. It's a is sign that, of B. <laughs> it's a sign of B. It's Babka. 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 Okay. Babka. Babka. I like that there's a, there's a, oh, it's, too, it's almost like a lot of A's. They Babka. 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 Anyway. You've got until I come back from walking the dogs to Oh, we're proper doing it like that, yeah. are we? <laughs> no. Your time starts now. Bake. Oh, wow, that's loud. Uh, the oven is preheating and these are some blanched hazelnuts. So they're the ones without the uh, the skin on, which you obviously in a pan, you can just warm it up in a pan, shake it on, it just kind of flies everywhere. So avoid that, buy blanched stuff if you can. Ugh. Ugh. And some of you guys might be uh, eagle-eyed and spot. It's a slightly different lens I'm using today. This is one that's designed for my camera. The other one I use an adapter and it's a bit blurry sometimes. This is way sharper. Uh, and I don't know if I can just focus behind me whether I'm a bit more blurry now. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's, and if I can focus on my face. Oh, look at that. It is way better, but I always prefer the other one. So I'm trying to get used to this one because it should hopefully make things look a little bit sexier. What are you doing? Cookies. <laughs> all right, oven's nice and preheated. Uh, I'll let you know how long that takes. They normally don't take very long at all, and I might give them a little shimmy just so for even colorage. Not colorage, what a word. It's amazing how much when you warm nuts in the oven like that, uh, like they, they hold the heat for hours, so it could be an alternative to central heating in your house in the winter. Mrs. B would be like, oh, turn that heating up, it's cold, which she's already started doing. I'm still wearing my shorts. Yeah, just warm up some hazelnuts, it's fine. Uh, so anyhow, apparently the chocolate sauce is the next step. Uh, so we've got ourselves a saucepan, some dark chocolate. Camera's not picking it up. I still have traces of blue food dye, despite over a week's worth of showers. We're going very off tangent today. Um, but if you have seen any Bake Off recipes through the years, if you've seen any epic ones through the years, I did a croque and bouche once, that's quite cool. Do let me know and we could maybe add those. So butter's going in and some sugar too. Oh yeah. We're not going to completely char them, but I'm just shimming them like that, probably another five minutes or so, and they will chop up and whiz so good. And they are making noise as well, but it's hard to hear it over the oven fan. Oh, folks, it's been another five minutes. Can you see that golden colour on there? That is what we're after. It smells like Christmas. And whilst I'm waiting for them to cool down, I'm going to melt this. Uh, Linton, actually, who edits my videos, with the, with the Rainbow Bagels, he said it was very surreal, two worlds colliding, obviously, as he does edit the actual Bake Off, which is cool, but he says he watched hours and hours of footage that you don't have to see, so it makes it quite exciting, whereas, obviously, with me, it's amazing all the time. Well, I've been a little bit cheeky there. I got distracted. I thought I might have burnt the chocolate. Please do keep stirring it. Naughty Barry. Off the heat it comes. Look at that. Gorgeous. Do make sure that you scrape your bottom, which is an amazing rule in life anyway. I imagine uh, we now add the cocoa powder in now. And then this is going to cool. And as it cools, it should thicken up. Gorgeous. Look at that glossiness. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Well, it does actually say to pour that into a separate bowl, maybe because the pan is hot, so it might cool down quicker. But that is blooming gorgeous. Right, let's get back to the nuts. Like glamorous chickpeas, aren't they? Half of them are gonna whiz up so they're finely chopped, okay? The other ones, with them being oven baked, oh, oh, so much more tender. They should, oh, hello, chop like a dream. So apparently we just roughly chop them. So half them and maybe half them again, but they are just falling apart. Love this. We haven't actually made any dough yet. 
Yeah, I'm really happy with that. A nice mix of chunky halves and quarters. Loving it. Now, we'll shred. Boom. <laughs> that looks wonderful. Look at that. What have you been doing? I'm making your back up. Does not look like it. Well, I haven't started the dough. This is, this is the bit. I just realised that I possibly could have started this step, which do that because it's going to save you the proving time. Uh, we're going to make the dough, which is really weird. I've never done it like this before, where we've got the flour, but we're going to mix in butter and eggs. Uh, and we don't have like a stand mixer thing, so I'm going to do it with an electric whisk, a hand one. I think it'll be fine. We're going to put, just like the other day with the bagels, the yeast to one side, and then the salt and the sugar. Oh, yeah. Now, apparently, we need to make a... A whey! in the middle and we add in the milk and this is some beaten eggs maybe i should have made my well deeper look at that it's just gonna go over the top like that all right but now we beat it together so for the first time ever the butter will get added slowly i'm going to use an electric whisk but with some dough hooks that always come with it that i always keep in the drawer i'm sure you're not the only person that does that never done this excited apparently we incorporate it all together initially and then we'll slightly add in the butter I'm gonna turn the speed up a little bit. This is, I've never used these before. But literally kneading without using your hands. You have to use your hands. It's like a baby's toy. So what we've got is the butter here, and I'm gonna just drop in a couple of cubes at a time. It's at room temperature, and I guess we're just gonna work this through. That went through really quick. That might be one of the greatest doughs that I've ever <laughs> just the texture, super smooth. Uh, I can't get any better. Uh, still got blue food dye on my board as well <laughs> from the rainbow bagels. And we now again go back to bagel territory. We know when we measured it out. I just measure it to the dough you've got. Don't cut it. And otherwise you're making too thin like I did. I end up with uh, bangles rather than bagels. We need a 40 centimeter by 30 centimeter rectangle, which coincidentally is the same size as this board. We have to roll that out to that. I've actually just uh, have to start again because I'm finding that despite flouring down the board, uh, the, the dough is sticking. So I'm using um, one of my seal pads just so I've got a little bit of movement. I can get it off when I need to later. All right, really happy with that. And with that there underneath, we can just get it off. Oh my gosh, have I ruined it? <laughs> if I need to. So now apparently we get our cooled chocolate mixture and we just put a, oh my gosh, is that amazing or is it just me? We need to leave a little border uh, around the edge, so we'll just get this coated first of all. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually kind of wish that I saw this episode now. Like I've said before, people are like, oh, do you ever watch it or have you ever been invited on it? I've been invited on it a few times, yes. And some other shows like Come Dine With Me. But it's more about the presenters, isn't it? And that's what's what those shows are about. And yeah, I already make a fool of myself as it is. There's nothing else to say other than this is like disgustingly naughty, isn't it? <laughs> and the next step is to put the nuts on. Just a mixture of the chunky ones. So let's get those on first. And then the crumbs as well. All right, so it says to go from the long end here and roll it up into a seam. So a nice sort of tight spiral. So this is what we're going to do. Hang on. Huh. The long end? The long end, yeah. Is that not the short end? Yeah. So what we do is we unravel it back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. Take two. Starting with the long end, and we roll it tightly. Oh, this is really therapeutic. But there's a seam at the end that you apparently need to sit it on. Yeah, that's on the seam. That is on the seam. Are we with me? That's gigantic. That is actually enormous. <laughs> Am I doing this right? But apparently we take some off the ends to neaten it. So I'm going to go a little bit further um, because it's just hanging off my board. Now I'm running out of board space here. Whoop. So uh, my plan here is to cut down there. I'm doing it at the angle here so I can stagger them just here. Then I believe Mrs. B is just checking, but I think that we seal them together by uh, each end like that. So I definitely need to do this. Oh my gosh, this looks gorgeous. And then we turn it cut side up and I believe that we pinched the bottom end you see this have I even pressed record on the camera I can't see oh my gosh yes I am recording it 
you. Then lift the right half over the left half, followed by the left half over the right half. Repeat, twisting the dough to make a two-stranded plate. I've just realized I can't braid hair. So, I mean, in the past, I've never had to do it. The kids have never asked me. I can't think why. No, neither can I. So we need to braid this so it fits that. Yeah. It's actually huge. So we, we make, like, can we make a thick braid? Is that possible? Yeah, well, it's only two strands, so it should be easy. You can do a braid with three. Braids normally, the plait is with three. Oh, I'm sorry. So we can like lose some of the distance by tucking that right up there, yeah, like that? Yeah. Oh, this is going everywhere. Right, now what? And then, so then this one yeah. goes over that side. Okay. That's it. Like that? Yeah. And then... Oh gosh, I feel so confused. Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, and I think I can squish it a little bit because it's got to fit in there, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, and then that like that? That one over there. Yeah. Yep. And then that... That one over that side. Definitely not going to waste this, but I want to get it to fit in the tin. Yeah. I am happy with that. Lift it up and in. Like that. Uh, okay. Apparently now we leave this to prove in a proving bag, which I don't have, so I'm just going to cover it in Wrapmaster 3000. To hopefully increase in size. It says it might not double, it might like go a little bit, so let's leave it for maybe an hour and a half. But regardless of what happens folks, let's just revel in this. This looks blooming awesome. I feel like I work in a patisserie. Ladies and gents, it has been, and I have been patient, a whole two hours. Check out that. It's <laughs> nearly taking over the pan. For the first half an hour, nothing was happening. I was getting a bit scared, but there we go. So 15 minutes like that, then we lower the temperature. Got 20 degrees. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if you can see that folks, but that is looking gorgeous. So we're just lowering the temperature down uh, by 20 degrees for another 20 minutes. So that's gonna do its thing. And we've got to make sure that a skewer comes out clean when it's put there. We have got 100 grams of caster sugar and 100 milliliters of water. Stirry, 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 so that that sugar dissolves in there almost immediately. And we're gonna bring it to a simmer. Which actually, <laughs> since the time I've moved my camera, because it's sugar and water, it does not take long at all. It's simmering right now, so I'm simmering it for five minutes. We need to let this cool after that simmering for five minutes, because it's gonna get poured on the babka. But one thing I realized whilst I was waiting for those two hours was that the crowdfund campaign has actually ended by the time this video goes live. I think it would have ended about three hours before this video goes live, which is, so you already know how much it's raised. But another thing that came to me is if I try and hit 60,000, cause it's so close to that, that is treble my initial goal and double my revised goal. Uh, and I'm thinking that I might try and do a remake um, of the cooking is nice video. I might actually put a bonus video up before you see this which you'll already see, this is like time travel. The future is awesome. Ladies and gents, check that out. Oh, I love the, like the golden sort of gradient of color there. You've got the darkness of the chocolate, the deep brown, and you can just see a lighter brown in all the way around there. So it should be a nice crispy top and a fluffy middle, potentially marbled, but we're not done yet. Now we drench on the syrup. So that little sugar syrup combo we did there, it's cooled down, we can brush it on. It's thickened up and that's just what's happened as it's cooled, but we must do it apparently whilst it's hot and in this tray. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. It's sort of adding a crunchiness to it. The smell is sensational. I think I might have to do like the Great Barry Bake Off every week until the Bake Off's over. And then maybe just every week. <laughs> this isn't just like making something simple, this is proper proper bacon. And I'm loving that glossiness that that's adding, that shine, because that will just cling to it. I just wish that I was decent at taking photos. <laughs> Mrs. B, you like it? I love it. it, smells amazing. I just wanted to get a real close-up of just glossing this, like, oh, <laughs> wax on, wax off. Right, enough of that. All right, maybe one more. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That is so light. It looks really dense and horrible, doesn't it? It almost looks ugly. Do you know what I mean? No, that looks amazing. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Bakers, you've got one minute to present your work. Oh, that's soft. Right, let's have a look. Oh, through the middle. Oh, oh. yeah, baby. Becky Hollywood. I've got to cut it. Oh, it's got a nice crunch. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, wow. That is rich. It's like, um, 
Like a pan of chocolate, mm. like in cake bread form. Mm. The inside is all soft and the outside yeah. is crunchy. I think eating That's it just amazing. warmed is, is rather naughty, isn't it? Mm. It feels quite like autumnal, doesn't it, as well? Yeah. The nuts and the, oh. Well done. Wow. <laughs> a handshake from my wife, ladies and gents. <laughs> all right, give us okay. a go then, folks. If you, you see any cool um, bake-off recipes through the years, as I said, like, let me know down below, maybe some epic one from a few years back you want me to try. I'm actually quite into this right now. It's quite cool. It's pastry week next week. Is it? Ooh, I've never made homemade puff pastry. I just buy it from the shops. I did it at school. All right. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm still rolling. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. See, it's genuine, folks. 